so gamers it happened again i have been exposed guys i am a fraud and i got exposed by someone i i really look up to but uh just to clarify the the video wasn't made as like an exposed video but uh he kind of threw some shade at me a little bit and i i can't help but be a little bit offended at this i kind of want to make a video talking about it with you guys today because uh i honestly want to hear your guys opinions do you guys think i'm in the right or wrong in this situation i, I don't really know so i think we should start from the very beginning uh so i did a video talking about clown Ixio, how they were pretty much utilizing their fan base to commit child labor and that is not a joke in the slightest because that was quite literally what was happening now i might have been a little bit misinformed here and i, I will clarify my point but pretty much no text to speech huge discord youtuber i guess because he does videos just talking about everything going on in the discord and kind of roblox community he did a video today and he kind of talked about my video about clown Ixio and uwu cute single and uh here is the little clip of it child labor, free robux and an illiterate moron how did all of this stem from a single email bro i cannot tell you the hype that was rushing through my veins when i saw that like intro because i i hadn't even seen what he was talking about me in the video i didn't know you know it was kind of like made to like you know go at me a little bit i've never been so disappointed in my life oh i should also probably clarify something like no hate to this dude at all please do not send hate or write any comments on his youtube channel as this video is more made for you guys and my audience because i'm willing to admit i am a biased person and i obviously am looking at different situations from a biased perspective and if there is something truly that i'm in the wrong on i want to hear it back from you guys i don't want to hear it from someone else's fan base or someone else from the sounds of it doesn't even watch my videos or know my content now before i show you guys what no text to speech said about me i actually want to show you guys a clip from ruben sims channel because i feel like this perfectly illustrates what was going on here and well what i thought was going on here it looks like i might have been a little bit wrong but it's still just as bad and i'll get into that later you made this app and you want people to start using it you can go to an advertising agency and have them advertise your app in a more organized way so this agency tells you all right We'll advertise your app, and rather than having you pay us for how many views your ad gets, we are so confident in our ability to advertise that we're only going to charge you for how many people we can get to actually install your app. So as the developer of this app, you gotta think, wow, that's some serious commitment. And so you agree to pay the agency maybe 50 cents every time they get someone to install your app. Good? Good. Except it's not good. Because unbeknownst to you, this agency is paying children an even smaller amount of money, maybe 10 cents, to download your app. So they pay someone 10 cents and they get 50 cents back every time they get a kid to install this app. So I think we can all agree here that that is probably child labor. Like, it literally is taking advantage of children and giving them a useless currency that where if they do it for like 10 hours, they could get enough Robux where if they hypothetically devexed it, it'd be worth like two bucks. And the owners of the sites are making thousands and thousands of dollars, of course. Like, that is just evil. And they profit a lot of money from it. Look at these websites. They look good. They're well made. Someone was paid a reasonable amount of money to code these websites and automate this process. So this is what I thought Clown Ixio and Uwu Cute Single were both doing. So if you guys don't know the history about these two, Uwu Cute Single was literally promoting child gambling, where on this site you could literally wager your Robux to earn more Robux. And I think that is entirely illegal when you consider that more than half of the people that play Roblox are under the age of 13. I'm also pretty certain as well Clown Ixio was also promoting it but i could be wrong on that I, I just can't really remember all that stuff happened literally months ago now now i feel like you guys have enough context where i can show the no text to speech video uh this video is actually really interesting and i actually want to talk about this video a little bit because i've gotten reached out by these people hundreds and hundreds of times but anyways we're gonna get into that a little bit later but here's what he had to say about me in his video anyways apparently visiting these websites and filling out surveys is yes child labor i'm gonna be honest i thought things couldn't get any more stupid but the roblox drama community proves me wrong in fact when i go to the comment section of roblox scammer exposed clown Shao, we have someone typing a whole paragraph defending the scammer yes defending clown Shao. The 
I, I still think that this is child labor. Like, I, I want to hear from you guys down below. But to go ahead and take advantage of children where you're paying them quite literally nothing, you yourself are making thousands and thousands of dollars off of it. I, that is child labor. That is the definition of child labor. I don't want to sound like the nerd emoji and go ahead and read the definition of child labor and point like, look, this is literally what it means. But, like, I feel like everyone knows what that means. Where you're taking advantage of children unethically and making a huge profit in return. Like, I, that's probably not the actual definition. There's probably a better definition. You know what? I'm just going to read the definition. The use of children in industry or business, especially when illegal or considered inhumane. Look, this is what it means. No, but for real, though, I, I legit still think that this is the case. I still think that what they did was child labor. Was I a little bit too extreme on that? And I also think you have to consider the factor of who these videos are made for. These vids are literally made for kids. If you go to the comment sections on these videos, you can clearly see that kids are watching these videos. Videos. Those videos are for the youngest and youngest of YouTube viewers. Like, maybe it's just a tier higher than Coco Melon. Like, Ubu Q Single was literally making videos about Peppa Pig. I have still not met a single Ubu Q Single or Clownixio fan over the age of 15. I I I'm just gonna be real here. But I will say, I think I was a tiny bit wrong on something. And this was uh, something he addressed in the video. So, I guess that this wasn't a Growbuck sort of scam. This was literally just going ahead and giving uh, surveys to your fans. Like, you you, you don't even get anything in return. I'm honestly debating if it's even more unethical now that you literally don't even get anything in return. You're just getting scammed. Like, they're just scamming children at this point. But I do want to talk about something, though, about the video he made. And this is a very interesting thing. So if you watch the video, he talks about these emails that uh, they're sending out to creators. And I swear to God, I've gotten hundreds of them. And if, if you guys don't know, I have another channel, right? And my other channel has about 80,000 subscribers. I get those sort of messages to both of my channels and they are polar opposite Roblox channels. Like this channel here is a Roblox commentary channel and the other channel is a sandbox Roblox gaming channel. And on both of those accounts, I've gotten emails from these people and I've gotten not just like one email, I've literally gotten hundreds of these emails. L let me check. So most of the emails I've gotten are in my spam folder which deletes every 30 days, but I'm not even joking. I've gotten hundreds of these emails like on both of my channels, which is just crazy to me. And they are absolutely annoying. Like, I, I don't understand what the whole point of this is. Like, it looks so unofficial and unprofessional. Like, I'll probably have one, like, on screen right now. Like, these are the emails that they are sending out to creators to go ahead and for us to sponsor their scam thing. And that's actually how I found out about, like, the what Clownixio and all these other people were doing was from the emails they were sending me because they had, like, Clownixio in the message say that she was promoting this. And I was like, oh, my God, she's actually promoting this. But, yeah, I... I want to hear back from you creators if you guys have actually gotten any emails like this because I swear I get hundreds of them. Like, I'm not even joking. And I also want to hear back from you guys on this because, uh, like I said, I want to hear back from my fans on what they have to say about all of this. You guys think I was in the right? I was in the wrong? I I just let me know down below. But gamers, we are wrapping up towards the end of today's video. Make sure you follow me over on Twitter, at RealSlep, and you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Anyways, gamers, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.